Podcast stuff. Hey, what's up? G.I. Joe. It's a thing, right? Uh, it's been around for a while, and it's been a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Some people like the movies, some people like the toys, some people like the cartoons, and some people just love it all. And let me just get this out of the way up front. I don't really care about the deep lore of G.I. Joe. I don't really know who anyone is. If they look cool, I'm in. As a kid, I had a handful of those 80s toys with the rubber bands in the crotch. And uh, in the 90s, I had some of the extreme Joes with like the foam uh, missile things. Um... <laughs> But since then, I can't say that I've been too inspired to pick any up. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, until I came across these ones that we're looking at today. Uh, first up, Retro Snake Eyes. Look at this goofball. And I say that with the utmost respect, because this right here, this is a beloved character that's gone through a lot of different iterations over the years. Most of which were boring and try hard and just not for me. But hey, this one is just for me. <laughs> He's done up in the reaction style, which in the most basic terms, means he was produced in modern day, but done so in an old-timey Five Points of Articulation style. His colors are insane. Baby blue, gold socks, silver goggles. Shit's wild, man. It says here that he's Secret Service Snake Eyes, but I don't know. I don't know where he'd be sneaking to in that kind of outfit, you know? <laughs> on his bio card, he's dressed in a much more realistic blue. So yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I'm super into it. Here he is with some other figures. It's pretty sweet. Hey, so I'm just going to pause right here. Uh, this is me from the future. How you doing? I just woke up. <laughs> uh, and I just got to say, I must have found this thing like super early because Super 7 just posted about it on their Instagram. And I know what I said about not being into the deep lore of G.I. Joe, but this is pretty interesting. So it's not just some crazy Snake Eyes colorway that Super 7 cooked up. It's like based off of the original India release of Snake Eyes. Isn't that crazy? So I did some digging on eBay and found these. But check out those first few words on the listing. These are customs, like, you know, uh, resin replicas or something from that original India figure. But then I googled around a bit and I found some other listings for actual Snake Eyes figures. And check that out. Those boys are expensive. But yeah, uh, I just thought I'd include this in the video. Thought it was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> anyway, back to the episode. All right, I think that's good. I'm going to put my mic away. See you later. Oh. Next up, Cobra Commander. So this is a pretty big deal. I remember everyone wondering what would be next for G.I. Joe after that one movie flopped and the toy line disappeared for a few years. Um, <laughs> there was murmurs of... You think they'll bring him back as six inches? Maybe a revitalized three and three quarter inch scale. But uh, yeah, just like Marvel Legends and Star Wars, G.I. Joe would join the ranks of six inch action figures everywhere. So all that aside, let's take a look at Cobra Commander. Looking like a dictator or some kind of military person. Very regal. Uh, he's pretty cool. I'm a sucker for the mirror face mask look. Articulation's good. Paint's all nice. There's a great contrast of textures going on, you know, just like most Marvel Legends or Star Wars figures nowadays. Um, here he is next to some other figures, six inch and otherwise. It's pretty good. Next up, Bat. My God. God. What a beast. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> I actually did have one of these guys way back in the day, uh, but this guy, holy crap. Look at this presentation. It's beautiful. Look at all these accessories, all these arm options, the chest options. Man, it's real impressive stuff. He's definitely an army builder figure, but I only managed to get one off Amazon at retail, and I'm pretty glad I did because right now these guys are going for crazy money. Look at that. That's nuts. He articulates nicely. He poses like a beast. He's got a few options, as you saw earlier. Full on battle damaged, fresh out the factory, or somewhere in between. What a crazy figure. I hope he gets repainted to infinity and back. Everybody needs to handle this guy, you know, in some way, shape, or form. And that's it. That's all of my got. Three G.I. Joe figures. What a weird bunch of figures, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really care about the basic G.I. Joe humans, as you can tell from my entirely masked up selection of figures I have here. <laughs> but if they keep pumping out the masks and the bad guys and robot variants, I'm in trouble, you know? <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment, Instagram, Twitter. You know what to do. All right. <laughs> Bye. Maybe I'll just skip that. <laughs> Next up, the bat. Next up, the B-A-T. Next up, the robot bat.
people. <laughs> Next up, the bat robot guy. Here he is. Um, no. All right. Pretty good. 